Hello and welcome to ET Garage. I'm Eugene Tordo and I want to thank everyone who subscribed so far. I'm up over 500 subscribers now. Uh, I need to get a thousand of course to uh, get monetized. I'm trying to get monetized in order to help pay for all these videos I make. So check them out. Check out my playlist. Uh, check out my other videos. Most of my videos are about the C4 Corvette uh, and the you know different projects I do in my garage and my shop in my basement and today's video is going to be about steam cleaning your combustion chambers uh, I've seen people do it I've uh, seen people do it in videos uh, all my years I never tried it in all my years I usually just every now and then throw in a bottle of uh, you know cleaner Gasoline uh, additives that supposedly clean your combustion chambers and all that stuff. This AMS oil stuff seems to work real good. It's hard to tell because I never look down in the cylinders, which I'll be doing in this test. I already took a picture inside the cylinders. I'll be using with a, uh, I have this uh, Depth Tech. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, dual lens. Uh, endoscope thing works really good by the way and uh, I already went down in the cylinder I'm only gonna do one cylinder because you know I don't know it, it, it either cleans all the cylinders or it doesn't and uh, I'm only gonna check one cylinder because I don't feel like pulling out a bunch of hot spark plugs you know and getting burnt on the headers and all that good stuff so that's what I'll be doing I'll be using uh, cylinder number three no, in cylinder number five, that'll be the easiest. That's the easiest one uh, to get to. In fact, I already had the plug out with the engine cold. I look down in there. I'll provide either a picture up here or somewhere up here. And at the end, I'll show, do a, like a comparison pictures or something before and after. So, uh, what I need to do is get the engine started and uh, let it warm up. Got to get the engine good and hot. And what I'm going to be using to, uh, since this doesn't have a carburetor and I can't pour it down with a cup, is a uh, sprayer I got from uh, Harbor Freight. I think it was like six bucks or something like that. You know, fill it with water and pump her up and then spray her in there. Uh, so that's what I'll be using right here. And of course, I got to remove the. inlet hose that goes to the throttle body so what I really need to do is get this uh, all warmed up and uh, get it way up to temperature and then we'll uh, spray some water in it and we'll see how things go now the thing uh, you hear people uh, giving warnings of hydro locking it and all that stuff I mean unless you sit there and stick a garden hose in it and hose it down you're gonna have a hard time hydro locking it while the engine is running uh, so just to uh, use caution, spray a little bit, or pour, if you're going to use the cup method down a carburetor or a throttle body, uh, you know, just use a little bit at a time, don't flood it. But anyway, I'm real curious to see how it turns out. I know, uh, like I said, Uncle Tony, he did it. I'll leave a link to his video a couple of weeks back. I don't know, a few weeks back he did it, and uh, he just poured the water down there and... Uh, but he didn't show a before and after results, so I'm really curious to see what the before and after results are. So, I'm going to go warm this up and fill this with water and get the inlet to the throttle body off. And uh, we'll start uh, steam cleaning the inside of the uh, combustion chambers. <laughs> I got the engine all warmed up I'm gonna go ahead and start it and I'm gonna set the idle control the idle speed or what the RPMs are by taking this clothespin sticking it in here in the uh, between the stop screw on the uh, throttle body uh, linkage and that will hold it up to the RPM I want I'm gonna monitor the RPM via a uh, timing light and then spray water in it 
and we'll see how that goes. through for a few minutes uh, didn't see any like uh, steam coming out the exhaust or anything I sprayed in what I felt was a good amount uh, I don't know how long you're supposed to spray it in there but I thought I did a pretty good amount so uh, I'm gonna get my gloves on get my uh, electric ratchet out and uh, get going and uh, I'll go ahead get this spark plug out and then I'll go down there with an endoscope and we'll see how things look and we'll compare the two. Okay, I'm going to say, it's hard to say uh, from the pictures, but it, it kind of looks cleaner. It looks like there's something wet on the piston, but uh, didn't do anything ink significant that I can tell. Yeah, there's, there's like, I don't know. Because I don't have this piston in the same position. Can't say that it's it's different, but there's like some wet wetness on the piston. So I'm not sure what to think here. Maybe I'll put the spark plug back in. Yeah, I'll put the spark plug back in and uh, see what else I can see. say it looks cleaner but not significantly but uh, let me get like I said let me get a uh, run some more water through it and we'll see what happens through there I ran probably a good quart this is a half uh, gallon bottle and uh, yeah I'd say I ran pretty good amount through there and uh, at least a quart I think that's a lot in my opinion but uh, I also ribbed it up quite a bit quite a bit more I went wide open at one point and just sprayed it in there real quick and let it run till it ran out and uh, I guess it's time to get the spark plug boot off and we'll see what happened and get the endoscope in there and see if that made any more difference. I'm really not seeing any difference. Uh, I'm going to have to go and pull another spark plug, at least one more. And uh, I hate doing that when the engine's hot. I just even with gloves on, you may actually get somehow get burnt or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any difference like in the uh, the spark plug um, before and after. I mean, to me, it seems the same. Uh, so I'm not sure what 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 to think. Leave your comments down there in the comment section. I'm really curious what people think, what their experience. If they've done anything like this, if anyone out there has done anything like this, share your experience and tell me what you think. Uh, I'm going to have to inspect at least one more cylinder. Like I've said, I, I don't want to take all the spark plugs out. It's just a pain in the butt. But I will take at least one more out uh, just to see. So hold on and I'll get back to you. Alrighty. 
Uh, this is the number three cylinder. The, one, the first one I did was number five. They're too easiest for me to get at without getting burned. That's the reason I did those. And uh, I don't know. To, the, to me, I, last time I was in that cylinder with an endoscope, I don't remember seeing that shiny spot. I'm just going by memory. So I am saying it did do something. I'll say this. It does look cleaner on that cylinder. There's probably not even distribution of the water going to, uh, you know, all the tune point runners at lower RPMs. I don't really know. But I will say that looks cleaner. But uh, there's really, like I said, no way to know. I think if I were to sit there for a long time and just keep steaming it and steaming it, or better yet, years ago they used to sell these little uh, water injection kits where basically you just hook the vacuum line to your air cleaner and it would just suck metered air through the water and uh, into your intake as you drove. And that was supposed to increase your fuel mileage and uh, your power and all that stuff. You know, you, you want windshield wiper fluid in it or uh, methanol or whatever you want to call it. But uh, if you were to, I think if you were to run one of them continuously, it probably would help keep your, your engine clean. But uh, based on this, I'd have to sit here and run quite a bit of water through it for anything to happen. And I'm not really seeing anything noticeable difference, not on the spark plugs or anything. So, I don't know. I mean, to me, that one piston looks cleaner. Like I said... Leave comments down in the comments section. Let me know your experience. Have you ever been down in your your uh, combustion chambers with the uh, endoscope before and after? Maybe I'll go ahead and run that Amsoil uh, fuel treatment. Yep, I'll run this Amsoil fuel treatment through there, and uh, you know, dump it in the gas, the old-fashioned way, and just stick it in there and. Uh, run a tank through and then check it again and compare pictures with that so I don't know what's your opinions anyway well I'm a little little uh, unconclusive on this I think it did clean it but it's it's gonna take a lot of water to clean it in my opinion so uh, I don't know what's your opinion Leave it down there in the comment section of the YouTube video. I appreciate it if you leave it in the YouTube video comment section, not like on Facebook or anywhere else I post this video, because then the uh, that helps my channel grow. So if you could do that, I appreciate it. But uh, was it worth the time? I don't think so. I might actually install one of those water injection kits, and I don't mean the real expensive ones that you use for only comes on when you're. Uh, experiencing knock or you're under boost that they use for you know boosted applications but the, one of these old-fashioned kits where you just hooked it up to the uh, the uh, air cleaner basically in some form or another and then it would just suck in the uh, suck in a real fine mist of water I had one of them believe it or not years ago on a 52 Chevy my first vehicle and it used to every you now I think it was like a little plastic bottle about that big you'd fill it with water and uh, it would suck the water out and you know at a slow rate and you'd have to refill that bottle and uh, I never back then never had an endoscope I don't think anyone that far back had an endoscope if they did it had to be really expensive and uh, so I never knew if it cleaned the combustion chambers or not uh, but uh, who knows maybe I'll do something like that if uh, you want me to do something like that leave comments and let me know, and I'll do it. But uh, for now, that's the only thing I can say. It's uh, kind of unconclusive. But that one piston does look cleaner to me. It has that shiny spot. Whether that was from uh, the water, and uh, there's wet spots on those pistons from... I don't know if that's something else. Like the motor, it does have over 38,000 miles, which isn't much. But... Uh, I don't know. Leave your opinions. What do you think? In the meantime, everybody have a great day. God bless and subscribe.